Have I ever told you about how much I love Rebrickable? In case you don't know, Rebrickable is an online website where people can upload their custom designs and you can buy, or sometimes get them for free, instructions to build these custom designs, so like vehicles, buildings, you know, fully custom ones or modifications to existing sets. It's a great online thing and I just loved every second of it. I built a couple of things in the past. But as you may have seen from my Bricklink course, I've been getting parts to build more things from Rebrickable, for example. And today I'm going to do just that. So today I'm going to be building these Ford Mustangs, six wide, minifigure scale, nice and small. I think it's quite cute, actually, of these classic Ford Mustangs. One that's got a black and red colour scheme. And one where I kind of took that design and I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could do like an all black version. So I took the same design, got the parts, and I'll be doing that. So I'm going to build two of those today. And this is by Brick AA on Rebrickable. And I've put all the links to their pages in the description. But they do some really cool designs of classic cars. So there's some other ones that I might be doing in the future. But today, it's all about the Mustangs. And here in front of me, in these containers, I have all the parts organised for the black and red. And then the all black one here. So I got these parts from my own parts collection and some bits from Bricklink as well. And because it's only a small build, but not too many parts, if you wanted to buy it like all new from Parts and Brick Link, then it's not going to cost you very much. So that's pretty handy. But yeah, if you have a lot of parts lying around like I do, always check through those first and then see what you need because it could save yourself some money. So I think first things first, we should probably start off with the one as intended with the red and black. So I'll pop that all black one to the side and then we can get to work on this one. So these are all the mocks that I've liked on my Rebrickable page and there is a lot. I think I've liked over 200 different projects and I've built some of them and some of them I haven't. Some of them I will probably never do but they're here for inspiration for some things I can do myself. So where is these cars? Let's have a look. Where are you? Uh, for example, the Hogwarts Express, which I did recently. So many interesting ones. Buildings, vehicles, you name it. It's on here. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. So this is what we want, the Ford Mustang by Brick AA. And for this model in particular, the instructions are free. Some sellers do charge a few pounds or a few euros, for example. So it's nothing too expensive. And I mean, ultimately, it pays for their hard work, right? But this is what it looks like. Yeah, so I think this is going to be a pretty nice little build, actually. And according to Rebrickable, this will cost you roughly £12.29 to make. Now, Rebrickable's prices aren't always the most accurate. So it is worth thing importing the parts list to Bricklink, then you can kind of figure it out for yourself. But yeah, I think about £10, £12 for this car is pretty worth it. It's similar to what LEGO City charge for their vehicles these days. So let's get building. And here are the instructions. As you can see, pretty similar to standard LEGO instructions, as if you were building the real thing. So this should be pretty straightforward, I think. Obviously, when it comes to rebuilding a mock from Rebrickable, when you get all the parts... They're not organized into numbered bags like they would be from an actual set. So luckily with a small build like this, it's not going to be too difficult to find things quickly. But if you had a big mock to build, you might want to organize your parts first. And here is the red Mustang all finished up. Yeah, very nice build actually. It just looks so good, doesn't it? It's low, it's sleek. You know what it's trying to be. Yeah, no stickers or anything for this because it's just, you know, there isn't any. But if you wanted to, you could put number plate on there, of course. And you can fit a minifigure inside, just fit them down there. You can only fit one in, they do have to lay back a little bit, and that's why I've grabbed this random guy here. So if we just sit him down, and then clip his legs down, push him back, and then that's where the steering wheel comes in. It's easily detachable because you do have to kind of move it out of the way to fit his legs in there. So you can pop that back in, put on the windscreen again, and there you go. Yeah. That looks very nice, actually. The only thing I don't like is this dark grey here. I mean, that part does exist in red and black. Obviously, the main colours used for this, but I didn't check the source material to see if this... Well, I don't know if this is modelled on any particular Mustang, but if, you know, the real thing does have a bit of grey there, then maybe that's why it's there, because there's also some grey in there as well. But apart from that, it is really nice. Yeah. It's just so sleek and so smooth. Tiled off, looks nice. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm going to build the other one in all black. And I think that's going to look really good. So the trouble of doing it in all black is that all the parts look the same. Obviously, they're all the same colour. So even though there aren't too many parts here, it might make finding the parts just a little bit more difficult. But I should be all right. There we go. The black one is all complete. And it does look really nice, doesn't it? On all that one colour. Yeah, very sleek, very classy. 
big fan of that. I think I made a good decision. But it just goes to show you can make these in pretty much any color combination where these parts exist, like blue or white, for example. Yeah, I do quite like that. And I've got ideas because they do, of course, have this off-road version, which they're classing as their Mad Max edition. And I want to do something like this. I don't want to do exactly this one, so I'm probably going to, you know, improve it and make it my own sort of thing. But I like the off-road style that they've gone for here. So I think, yeah, I might have to get the parts together to do something like this. But let me know what you guys think. Do you like these four little Ford Mustangs? Definitely check out Brick AA on Rebrickable. And there's plenty more really cool instructions on there as well. So yeah, nice stuff. Well, there we go. I think they look pretty cool in the end, actually. I'm looking forward to making more models from different things by different people on Rebrickable. So it's, yeah, if you haven't checked it out, definitely do it because there's a lot of good things on there. And maybe one day I might upload some of my own designs on there as well. So that'd be interesting, you know. See what we can come up with down the line. But hey, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel. Or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.